Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video, I'll walk you through how to transfer a Power Automate Cloudflow to a Copilot Studio agent flow. Because underneath the hood, it is all Power Automate. However, depending on your scenario, it can be advantageous to transition from the cloud to the agent flow. So I'll walk you through a scenario of how this is useful and show you step by step how to do it. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Four months ago, I had released this video called How to Build Autonomous Agents Using Copilot Studio. And I've walked you through that step by step. In fact, the link to this video is in the description below. Now, a key feature of this agent is triggers. Basically, it is capturing a trigger of every single time a Microsoft form gets triggered. And this is actually a flow running in the back end. So what I'm going to do is this Power Automate Cloud Flow I'm gonna transfer that over into an agent flow. And some of you may be thinking, Daniel, why are you doing that? Like, what is the difference between the cloud and the agent flow? And I'm really glad you're thinking about that because here's why. So in my case, it was all about license consumption because I only have one Power Automate premium license and that does give me 4,000 runs per day. But I only have one account and that account is running so many of these flows. And so therefore I thought, maybe I can transfer some of this load of the cloud flows over to my agent flows because I also have Copilot Studio and over there I can switch over to an agent flow to share the load. And to do that, I actually have a message agent pack and each pack comes with 25,000 messages. So I definitely have a lot of messages to spare which can take over some of the load which my Power Automate cloud flow is facing. So this is my scenario, it works for me it might be something similar to you as well. And now that you understand this, let me go and show you how all this technically works. So I'm in Copilot Studio and this coffee machine agent, that is the autonomous agent I just talked about. And if I scroll down right over here in the triggers, here is the cloud flow. And if I come to the right and the ellipses, which is the three dots, if I click on it right over here, edit and power automate, it opens up a new tab and directly takes me into the cloud flow. Now, if I go back, right, one click to the back, right over here in details, if I click on edit, this is the option where I can actually change the plan to the current one, which is the Cloudflow, over to Copilot Studio. And it literally is that simple. It is a one click process and it will switch over. But before I do that, let me show you one other thing. Let's go back into the Copilot Studio and right over here, seek flows. This is where you will see all your agent flows. So it is again environment specific. And in my case, in this environment, I currently do not have an agent flow, but that is going to change very soon. All right, so it was important that I showed you this because now we're gonna make that big switch. Let's go back into the Power Automate Cloud Flow. Stay over here. I'm gonna select this radio button and now I'll click on save. Now, this is the place where it's gonna make things very clear to you. It talks about this plan switch and if there is anything wrong with your connections or connection references, all of that will be made visible right at this point. So in my case, the first thing it is saying is that switch to Copilot Studio plan. Once you change the plan of this flow to Copilot Studio, it cannot be changed back. Please be certain before you select this option. One time click and you cannot retract that. So think twice before you click over here. And I already have, so I'm gonna click on confirm. And that is it. It is literally a one click process. So we just have to wait over here and make sure it likes that because if for whatever reason, say any of your connections also, the authentication was wrong, password was wrong, whatever, it will pop up with a <clears throat> big red error message telling you go fix that or something else. But in our case, it went through just fine. But you know what? Nothing looks very different over here. We are still in the Power Automate Cloudflow and granted, if I come over here and click on edit, that is all I see. I don't see the other options, but overall everything still remains just the same because like I mentioned in the introduction, the underlining platform is still Power Automate. The only thing that has happened is the Cloudflow switched over to the agent flow. And speaking of agent flow, let's go back into our agent over here in Copilot Studio. It's in the exact same environment as the Cloudflow we were just in. So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna do a refresh right over here. I'm doing a refresh. 
it is updating and any second now, right away here, you see that flow. So what has happened is that the configuration has changed, but the flow still becomes fully available in both the places. It's right over here in the Copilot Studio side, and it's also over here in the Power Automate side. It is the exact same flow. Now, we are very familiar with the Power Automate Cloud Flow, so I'm not gonna do any edit over here, but let's take a look at it from the agent side, all right, on the agent flows. So when I come over here and I click on it, it takes me to this overview place, which is again, very similar, very similar to what we see on the Power Automate Cloud Flow side. Over here, this is what we see. It looks very similar to what we have on the Power Automate Cloud Flow side, except over here on the agent flow, it has these tabs over here. On the Cloudflow side, it's a little different. You have all of this additional information, and yes, you can click on edit in both the places, but there is similarities at the same time differences. All right, so in the agent one now, I have the option to go ahead and change the design over here. So if I click on the designer, all of this look and feel is very similar to what we see on the Power Automate Cloudflow side. And just to show that to you, if I come over here, we don't have designer, we have edit. So if I click on edit, it takes us directly over here in the modern designer phase, and it's the exact same, all right? You see over there, one, two, three, a four each, and then another action, same thing over here. One, two, uh, one, two, three, a four each, and then another action. One thing I notice immediately is that in the Copilot Studio agent flow designer, all you have is the new designer. Because in the cloud side, you have the option to toggle it off. While on the agent side, you do not have that. Just thought I'd mention that but the overall process is the exact same. When I click on it, all the parameters, settings, code view, like all of the setting stuff is the exact same on the left side. So that hasn't changed. What tells me is that I don't have to learn anything new. It is the exact same as the Cloudflow. And once again, like I said, the underlining platform is still Power Automate. The only thing changed is from the Cloudflow to the agent flow. All right, so as I was testing and playing with this, one thought came in my mind that the cloud flow actually came from the agent over here, the trigger. So I was wondering, is that the only way we can transfer over from the cloud to the agent? What if I actually build my own flow on the cloud flow side? Can I bring that over here? Well, let's find out. So let's go back into our cloud flow over here and try to replicate something similar. Uh, what I'm gonna do is build a Microsoft form, go ahead and get some form information, and then I will try to go ahead and get this action, all right? So let's try that. I'm gonna come out over here, outside. I'm gonna go back into my flows. I'm gonna click on the plus new flow. This is gonna be an automated cloud flow. Here's the trigger when a new response is submitted. Select that, click on create it. Um, I'll go ahead and call this as a live demo. And then I'll make a click on that one. The form on my case, uh, that was for the a coffee machine inquiry form, so that's the one. Uh, then I'll click over here, and in my Microsoft form, which is right over here, it's a get response detail, so I select it. Oh, there's a connection that is broken. All right, not a problem. Let's go and fix that. Uh, right there, change connection. It is loading my connections. I'll select the first one, perfect. So I click on the drop down. All right, let me go and search for that form again, okay? It's the coffee machine one, right there, perfect. Select that. Click over here, grab the response ID. Perfect, so we're going and moving along. So at this point, let me just save it, all right? I'm gonna save it, going outside, and let's click on that edit. Perfect, saving is done. I'm gonna go back, and this is what I meant, the edit over here. If I click over here, I do see all of these options. However, Copilot Studio is still grayed out. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. So Daniel, you haven't even added anything about Copilot Studio. I says, I get it, I get it, I'm getting there but I just wanted to start by showing you that, hey, at least all these plans show up, all right? Let's move forward. I click back into the edit over here. All right, let's so be back inside. I'm gonna click on the plus over here. And on the top, I'm gonna search for Copilot Studio Agent, all right? Let's see what results it gives. All right, none of that looks good. Let me scroll down, scroll down. There you go, execute Copilot. That looks promising. So I'll go and click on this again. Connection is broken, not a problem. Select it, select that one. Connection prompt has been fixed. And for the Copilot, which was the one? Let me go back and take a look. My agent specifically was the coffee machine agent. So I'll come back over here and I'm gonna go and select the coffee machine agent. Now, I see the correct list over here. Why? Because I'm in the exact same environment. That is critical. So I'll go and select that one. Uh, and if I go and do a side-by-side -side comparison, go back over here into the flows, 
Um, take a look at that flow one more time just to see if there's anything else I need to add. Go back into the designer piece. Uh, when I click on that, it's got this additional thing, right? It got, went ahead and selected the co-pilot, went ahead and selected the agent, and there's this additional one about getting the content. But now that I've added the correct action, let's see if things change. So I'll come over here. I'm gonna go and make sure I click on save. Let the saving finish. Good, I'm gonna go back outside, right over here in details. Let me click on edit, and it's the same thing. The co-pilot is grayed out. Now, if any of you have figured how to go ahead and build your own, please go ahead and put that information in the description below. I would love to learn how you did that. But from this testing that I've just done, I'm coming to a conclusion that the only flows you can actually go and enable this are those that have actually come from an agent. And those were a cloud flow, which you can now switch over into an agent flow. That's the only conclusion I could come up with. And I know I spent a little extra time demonstrating this to you, but I think it was really important. All right, so let's do a quick test just to make sure that the agent flow is actually working. And for that, I need to come into this Microsoft form and just fill out some information over here. Uh, so I'm just gonna randomly put some information. So I'm just gonna randomly fill this form out. Uh, my name, I'm actually gonna go and say Daniel Christian. Over here, I'm gonna say Dan, daniel.christian at contoso, contoso.com. And the question in this case I'm gonna add is, ask is, uh, do you have any coffee machines that are less than uh, say $600, then say $600, okay? And once again, I've done a whole video on this, so go ahead and take a look at that video in the description below. I'd walk you to step-by-step -step how this autonomous agent works. Works really well. Um, so I'll click on submit. Once I click on submit, that should actually go ahead and trigger the flow. So we can see that in both the places. So if I come on the Cloudflow side over here, and if I cancel this off, uh, if I click on this refresh there, right, right there, you'll actually see that this just ran on this side. But the exact same flow is also on the agent side. So let's take a look at the agent. I'll come over here, um, and over here if I do a refresh, you will actually see that there you go, it actually ran. So clicking over here also goes and gives you the exact activity to see how this is going on. So once again proof that the fundamental platform is Power Automate, however, this is now an agent flow, while the other place is a cloud flow. And what that means is that if you delete the agent flow over here, it gets deleted on the Cloudflow side and vice versa. Why? Because it's the exact same thing. Now I know what some of you are thinking is that Daniel, when you go and switch it from a Cloudflow to an agent flow, how does the licensing model change in the backend? Because I already gave you a snippet of that in the introduction piece. However, you'd be very interested to know about the consumption model. And I'm saving all of that for the next video because over there, I'll also cover the AI builder consumption. What happens when you actually have an AI builder, say a prompt, which runs by itself, say in Power Apps and Power Automate. However, when you go and run that into an agent, the consumption changes. And therefore, I just thought I'll cover that in a separate video. But hopefully this video was useful to you because now I've demonstrated that for you. So you have a good idea of what you're getting into because remember, it's only a one-time change. You cannot go back. So definitely think twice. And as always, keep using Copilot Studio. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.